Card Quest is pretty much the pinnacle of the solo card game on the App Store, but it's a tricky beast to get into. So we thought it was sensible to give you a rundown of some of the tips and tricks that you're gonna need to succeed. We've put hours into the game at this point, so you know they're gonna be good, probably. Number one, know your class. Each class has a different set of skills, and within those classes, you'll find subclasses that change the way you're gonna have to play. You can be violent and upfront with the warrior, but try to do that with the hunter, and you'll be dead in moments. By the same token, you need to control the distance between you and your enemies when you're the hunter, but there's no need when you're the warrior. Learn your moves, strengths, and weaknesses, and you'll be best placed to win. Number two, use your gear. As you play, you'll unlock new pieces of gear for your characters to use. Remember, you've got them, and use them when you get the chance, because they can be the difference between success and destruction. New weapons will give you new cards, as will different styles. It's important to read what your new deck does so you understand the moves you're gonna be making. You'll find the extra special moves your gear gives you just above the discard pile. Get familiar with what they do, and then use them wisely. Number three. Know your enemy. Card Quest likes to play tricks on you. Some enemies will dodge your attacks, some will burst into more creatures when you kill them. If you know what to expect, you're gonna be better placed to deal with it. If your enemy's got a dodge skill, use an undodgeable shot, or try and slow them down when you're defending against their attacks. Try out different tactics to maximize your effectiveness. Number four, it's not over. Just because you've finished your attack, it doesn't mean you can sit back and relax, even if it looks like your foes are far enough away from you that they can't get you. Plenty of enemies have secondary attacks that can hit you from range. Make sure you've always got stamina left to deal with potential attacks. At the same time, try and use your defensive turn offensively. Stun enemies, hit them with counterattacks, and try and make sure you're in the perfect position for the next attack. And number five, Chain Gang. A lot of the cards have effects that only come into play when they're chained together with other cards. Sometimes this can be a help, but other times it can nerf skills that you were relying on. Other cards will break chains and cancel out the benefits and hindrances. Read the text on all the cards carefully before you use any of them. Then figure out the best way to get the best results from the cards, stamina, and other attributes that you have. Unfortunately, there's no shortcut for doing your due diligence when it comes to reading card text, but it really can be the difference between winning a round and ending up as revenant food.